In our last flowchart, we created the logic to average five numbers together. Um, and that could pretty much be any numbers from uh, things like grades uh, to the weights of five different things, uh, anything we want to average together. Um, but may not be totally practical for every case. Let's say it was grades, um, and so we want to average five grades together. Um, this works for that, but let's say we have a different class and we maybe had six exams. We would have to change the logic here uh, and go in and change this to six. Uh, if we were trying to average in, maybe it's a teacher trying to use this and they're averaging the whole class grades together and maybe they have 20 students, they would have to go in uh, and change that logic. So the question here is how do we do this for any number uh, of values? Um, and the simple answer is we could go in and change this to uh, simply n. Uh, so n number of things, and then we would just have to uh, create uh, that variable. And so we'll create an n as an integer, uh, and then we will prompt the user to enter n, and we will let them know what we're asking for. Uh, we will say, something like this, enter the number of items, and of course put our quotes around that. And so that should work, so if we only had three items we could run this. So we'll put in something like three. The first number, let's say 10, 20, uh, and 30. And so the average of those three together is, is 20. Um, so this sort of works, but you could imagine this, this is not uh, the best in all situations. So imagine we are trying to do more of a cash register style thing where we're gonna check out a certain number of items. Um, well, that would also change the logic here because we're not interested in the average cost of the items, but the total. Uh, so we could uh, just get rid of the average uh, and we'll output the total here. And so we'll just say the total is the sum. And we may add a prompt here for the user uh, to say, enter the price. And of course that would take it, but uh, the problem then is we have to, um, you know, at the checkout say, how many items do you have? Uh, and if you can imagine we're off by uh, some amount, um, that creates a, an issue, right? Um, so it, it does calculate the total for us, uh, but there's got to be a different way uh, to not have to pre-count the number of items uh, that we're going to we're going to calculate. And there's a way to do that. And we can actually use the same input variable as long as there is um, a dummy value we can use to signal uh, we're at the end. And so you might imagine if we're uh, checking out groceries, uh, we could say in, enter the price or zero to exit and total. Okay. When we put zero in, there's hopefully nothing that's going to cost zero. Uh, we have to put in some value that's not going to be a valid uh, input. Uh, and then we're going to get rid of this at the top of the loop, and we will just copy uh, this and put our input out there. And so we're going to enter uh, a price or zero to exit. And so here we're just going to check uh, to see as long as number is greater than zero. So if they don't put in zero, or we could say not equal to, uh, but as long as it's greater than zero, we're gonna keep going into the loop. Uh, we wanna make sure this happens first. Uh, so we will move this to the top of the loop. So if we get in the loop the first time, we're gonna add that number in to the sum. Um, we don't really need to count anymore. Uh, so we can just remove that 
Uh, if we wanted to, we would put that up at the top. So again, we count the first number. When we get to the end of the loop, we're going to do a, uh, the end of the loop read to say, hey, do you have another price or put in zero to exit? And so if we put in zero, uh, it, it's, gonna, it's not going to be less than zero, so it's going to go out uh, and, and do our total. So let's check this out and see how this works. So it says enter a price or zero to exit. Let's just put in 10. Uh, we'll put in another one in 20 and say let's that's it so we're going to put zero in uh, that'll exit and so it gives us our total of 30 and so this is a little bit better way uh, to do uh, any number uh, of items uh, as far as uh, the logic goes